twist and shout. Whatever moves you, get away and awaken the fun. Play your perfect combination at the Chonga Resort Casino. With an available interior work surface, an available pro power on board that acts as a mobile generator, Ford F-150 has all the capability and technology you need. Because when we are Unidos, we are stronger. You can't leave without cuddles, but you also can't leave covered in hair. With Bounce Pet, you can cuddle and brush that hair off. Bounce, it's the sheep. The legendary Charo joins us in studio. How you can see her new show live. Plus, Google's first attempt at a phone that's also a tablet. My review of the Pixel Fold in TechSmart. Monday on the KTLA 5 Morning News. Searching for rest, or sur sur survivors rather after a powerful 6.8 magnitude earthquake hits Morocco. We are live with the latest. Good morning, everyone. I'm Erin Myers here in Ventura. There is a high surf advisory in place for several beaches around Southern California. If you are headed to the coast this weekend. You'll want to take precautions. All the details coming up. And this morning, we're hearing from the Americans stuck in a cave 3,000 feet below ground. How rescuers plan to save them. And we are going to have really warm temperatures again today, but we'll see more clouds moving in this afternoon. Could even see some thunderstorms. We're going to talk about all that coming up. Good morning and welcome to the KTLA Morning News at 8 a.m. I'm Pedro Hill. And I'm Lauren Lister. We thank you so much for joining us. It's a beautiful morning. Yes. The big waves on the coast here, and that's something that, you know, we're going to be talking about. We have Aaron out there. Yeah, uh, they look great. A lot of surfers out there this morning. Hurricane Jova, is that correct? Was. Tropical Storm was Jova, yeah. Mm -hmm. We have Hurricane Lee, though. Yeah, so we're watching both coasts. Lots of activity, and we will talk about that throughout the morning, though. But outside right now, we do see a little bit of cloud coverage from this Long Beach camera, though. And again, even if you see sunshine now, that will change heading into late this afternoon, early evening. Mid-70s for most of us right now. Long Beach, Santa Ana, Burbank, Lancaster, all seeing mostly clear skies and temperatures very comfortable right now. Temperatures this afternoon, again, a couple more days of the really warm temperatures before we cool off. 100 for Santa Clarita, 100 for Van Nuys today, 81 for Santa Monica, 92 in Long Beach, and 99 in Riverside. And we'll talk about the rest of the weekend and a chance of showers coming up. Now to our breaking news overseas. Tragedy strikes Morocco. A rare and powerful earthquake hit the North African nation late last night, thought to be the strongest quake there in more than a century. The full toll of the devastation is still unclear, but officials say more than a thousand people have lost their lives. The 6.8 magnitude quake decimating the ancient city of Marrakesh and other remote mountain villages. Rescue crews are now rushing to save anyone they can from the rubble. KTLA's Megan Tells is here in studio tracking the latest situation. Megan, it's changing by the hour. Changing by the hour, that's right, Pedro. This powerful 6.8 magnitude quake struck shortly after 11 last night. Many people were sleeping at the time. The images coming in from the country continue to show all of the devastation. Take a look. Buildings in the tourist hotspot of Marrakesh crumbling to the ground. The death toll is rising. Pedro mentioned that it is changing at 6 o'clock this morning. 800 people dead, now 1,037 people confirmed killed, more than 600 people injured, the bulk of them in and around the historic city. Now, the U.S. Geological Survey says most of those affected live in structures highly vulnerable to earthquake shaking many of the city's ancient walls. And the key word there is ancient. You know, this is a, a town that's been around for a very long time. So you can, Im you can imagine the vulnerability of these buildings. They were f first built back in the 12th century. Rescue crews are having a hard time reaching some of the hardest hit remote areas. And officials expect that death toll to rise further. You can see in this next video, panicked residents running into to the streets after that quake struck. Many homes leveled, leaving nowhere for those people to go. Another video as we were combing through here, hundreds of people sitting in these groups along the side of the road. And that video goes on for over two minutes. Just see that long line of people. The area already been hit by several strong aftershocks. Experts predict the strength of the aftershocks to be in the high fives, which could cause even more destruction to already damaged buildings. Earthquakes are rare in this area. This was the strongest to hit.